Welcome to NDE Experiences, a journey into the pre-death experiences of individuals who claim to have passed away, ventured into the afterlife, and then returned. Today's tale comes from Nicholas G., who shares his journey through a mysterious tunnel, offering us a glimpse into what awaits beyond the veil. Let's delve into his story. I begin by sharing that I suffer from pulmonary fibrosis, a terminal condition that has severely damaged my lungs, leaving me with just 40% lung capacity. I get winded easily and often struggle with hypoxemia. The experience I'm about to share has occurred four times in the past two months. In the last two weeks, I've had similar experiences, but the one I'll describe here was the most profound and meaningful. One night, I fell asleep and began to dream. Within minutes, the dream took a dark turn. Before I knew it, in the dream, I was choking. In reality, my nostrils were nearly completely blocked, and my mouth wouldn't open, so I was actually suffocating. Since it all started as a dream, I couldn't discern that I was actually in trouble. The sensation of choking merged into the dream. In the dream, I was desperate, trying to get the attention of dream figures for help, as I struggled to breathe. The most striking aspect of this part of the dream was that as my physical body shut down, the colors of the dream landscape gradually faded, turning everything into an ashen gray. My thought processes also slowed down significantly, to the point where I could no longer think. This seemed to happen in about two minutes. Everything in the dream literally froze, like a gray photograph, as dead and lifeless as I felt. Dying was briefly as merciful as it was horrific. Suddenly, I felt a gentle urge to look up at the sky, the only thing that still had color, a beautiful bright blue. The moment I looked up, for things happened, I became lucid and could think clearly, I felt alive again, the dream landscape vanished, and my human personality and ego switched off like a light bulb, freeing me to fully embrace myself as a spirit. A tunnel formed above my head, pulling me into it at high speed. My sole focus was the light and God. I kept repeating God, God to focus my thoughts as I traveled. The tunnel's walls were pitch black, with a beautiful golden light pulsating through and surrounding the tunnel. At the tunnel's end was a bright golden light. As I traveled through the tunnel, I realized my body was reaching its end. Though I was still acutely aware of my body and its desperate state, I chose to continue through the tunnel to its end. Having already experienced this scenario on two other occasions the previous week, I felt like an old hand at the tunnel. It occurred to me that there were only two reasons I was going through the tunnel, either I was already dead, or the body was currently in the process of dying and wouldn't last much longer. Either way, I felt I needed to complete the journey as quickly as possible, as I had no intention of lingering unnecessarily on the earthly astral plane. The more I flew through the astral plane, the less aware I was of the body. In the last moment of the dream, I felt only terror, but in the tunnel, I felt the exact opposite, I was happy and content. The flight through the tunnel was what I would describe as extremely pleasant. I had a vague awareness that my body was slightly writhing in my bedroom. I concluded that it was essentially a shell and that I didn't need to worry about it. I hoped it would stop struggling so I could be free. After all, I had no issues, I didn't need to breathe, as that was a problem for the body to deal with, not me. The further I advanced in the tunnel, the clearer my senses and thought processes became, reaching peak clarity at the end. There was an overwhelming feeling that I was finally returning home. I almost expected to cross through the light and pass to the other side, but I was stopped instantly just before entering. It was a massive wall of golden light, 500 feet high and just as wide. It was impossible to ignore, as there was nothing but complete darkness everywhere else. I recognized it as the void. It was a point of no return. I knew definitively that if I crossed the veil, this body would expire immediately. There was no coming back after this. For the moment, I was still attached to it. I remember thinking it would be a shame to arbitrarily abandon an otherwise marginally functioning body when there was no compelling reason to do so. 
however, I deeply desired to cross the veil. I could sense an almost indescribable feeling of goodwill and happiness coming from the other side. I also felt a huge wave of emotions explaining that the spirit world is a very vibrant place. I felt that many friendly souls were just beyond the veil. Most of what I felt was beyond description. However, I felt that not only would I be shirking my duties to this form, but I would be offending God by deciding to leave the world prematurely. It seemed the height of irresponsibility to do so. As painful as it was to leave the light, I chose to return to the world. I woke up for all of 10 seconds, and then immediately fell back asleep. I found myself in the same position, my nose was still blocked, and I hadn't woken up long enough to clear my airways. This time, I immediately looked at the sky and found myself flying through the tunnel again. As far as I could tell, the journey lasted 10 seconds this time. At the wall of light, I stayed a bit longer than before. I began to receive images of what awaited me on the other side if I completed this incarnation correctly. It was fascinating. Various images of what seemed like transforming clouds turning into grand halls and landscapes unfolded before my eyes. Even though I left again, I was frustrated because I was still not allowed to cross. This time, after waking up, I made sure to clear my airways before getting up to contemplate everything that had happened over the last week. I went through the entire range of emotions, from sadness and depression for not being allowed to pass, to extreme happiness because I finally know what happens to us when we die. A few days ago, I was given the knowledge that I needed to live this experience. Now I have completely lost the fear of death, in fact, I look forward to the time when my time finally comes. By the way, I was browsing Pinterest and kept coming across a repeated encouragement card that said, it's worth it, your patience will be rewarded. No matter how far down the list I scrolled, it was the only thing that kept repeating. It serves to reassure me that I made the right decision, as disappointing as it was. I look at it often to remind myself why I returned.